Hi guys. It is turning out to be a fine spring day, or is it still technically winter time here in the collapse of global industrial civilization? <clears throat> Coming at you from the bird-filled former paradise of Garfield, Texas here on, where are we, Tuesday, March the 10th. 2020. I keep saying it's February, but it is March the 10th. Flowers in bloom, birds singing. A fine day. I am getting ready to head out into my organic garden to play around, dig in the dirt while I still can. And oh yes, uh, this is Collapse Chronicles. My name is Sam Mitchell and this is my little co-pilot Sancho Panza doing what we do every day. And that is uh, chronicling the collapse of a planet, which usually means doom and gloom. But we finally, I know it, uh, perhaps history is being made. Finally, we have some good news here on Collapse Chronicles. Right here in the mainstream media, right here on Yahoo News Today trying desperately to find one news article without the C word. I don't know if the C, I don't think the C word rears its ugly head anywhere in this. There may be one time the C word, but at least it's not in the headline since about 85% of the mainstream media news is about the C word, which I'm going from, from now on, uh, on this channel, I'm going to call it the C word. I am sick and tired of seeing the C word. But anyway, enough about the C word. Let's, uh, we're going to, this is mostly from the great state of Texas. I'm going to put the little dog down. Predominantly from the great state of Texas. Uh, all right, take it away. This is Reuters news here in the mainstream media. <clears throat> U.S. shale producers rush to cut spending and output as oil prices tank. We finally have some good news coming out of the great state of Texas. All right, take it away, Reuters news. <clears throat> Dateline, Houston, Texas. U.S. shale producers on Monday, meaning yesterday, rushed to deepen spending cuts and could reduce future production as oil prices tumbled after OPEC's decision to pump full bore into a global market hit by shrinking demand due to the C word doot, outbreak. Crude, I think that's the last, the one and only time we hear the C word in the story. Uh, crude futures fell 20% on Monday, the largest one day slide since the 1991 Gulf War after the organization of the petroleum export countries and allies failed to agree on new output cuts and let production curbs lapse this month. For the last three years, OPEC and its allies, chiefly Russia, and I hear that the Russian ruble is an absolute freefall today as a spinoff to this story, that the uh, Russian economy uh, just is in complete total free fall from this news. Uh, for the last three years, o OPEC and its allies, chiefly Russia, have cut supply to support prices, leaving the door open for U.S. shale producers to boost their production and capture market share. The U.S., but because of this, uh, is now the largest oil producer in the world, pumping out nearly 13 million barrels per day. But 
the companies operating in oil fields in Texas, New Mexico, and other states have struggled to make enough money to satisfy investors. And this is what's been going on uh, before yesterday, is that yesterday could be the nail in the coffin, at least temporarily, on U.S. shale production, otherwise known as fracking. Uh, the frackers are having a bad day of it today, and this obviously is also very bad news for Donald Trump. Uh, anybody who does not understand how this story is good news for, uh, Joseph, for Joe Biden and Bernie Sanders, if I have to explain that to you, obviously you are new to this channel and to the Doomosphere. Okay, <clears throat> as this article is going to talk about now, <clears throat> even before, even before the OPEC deal collapse, those companies were already pulling back on capital expenditures and aiming for flat to modest production gains and that activity meaning the decline that that's a bad choice of words and that activity will accelerate meaning it should that activity will decelerate uh, but deepening the cuts will accelerate okay this is Dan Jurgen, vice chairman of whatever IHS market is, quote, you are going to see activity grind to a stop. At this level, this is survival. For some companies, they will be gasping for oxygen. <laughs> yes, thank you, Dan Jurgen. Uh, shale companies need prices at least in the low 40s per barrel to cover direct cost. And again, uh, there's a lot of people uh, who would argue with this. Uh, the shale companies claim publicly that they can cover their cost at uh, at oil per barrel in the low 40s, but that's barely covering their direct cost. Uh, and, and so there's a whole lot of debate, uh, particularly among the peak oil community, about how much oil, where oil has to be to keep investors pumping their money into shale. I have heard anything anywhere from fifty to eighty five dollars a barrel I am not an oil investor uh, but if I were I would be getting the hell the hell out of shale and you better believe that investors are fleeing today but according to this according to this story in Reuters news take it with a grain of salt shale companies need prices at least in the low 40s per barrel to cover their direct cost, said Ian Nieben, a managing director at consultant Enverns. If U.S. prices remain at a low $30 per barrel range, quote, it starts to look more lethal. It starts to look more lethal. <clears throat> so, how badly w were things hammered yesterday? U.S. crude futures were down more than $8 a barrel uh, yesterday, standing at about $33 a barrel after hitting a four-year low, sending debt and equity prices sharply lower. Now, they do have an article right next to this, uh, stocks and oil prices jump after Monday's rout. So, uh, 
apparently the prices are stabilizing a little bit today but as of at the close yesterday uh, US crude futures stood at about $33 a barrel <clears throat> and producers with high debt loads <coughs> which are pretty much all of them I think <clears throat> Producers with high debt loads were hit hard in the stock market. Apache Corporation falling nearly 54% yesterday. Occidental Petroleum Corporation down 58, down 52%. Occidental bought Andarco Petroleum last year for 38 billion and Monday's decline sank its market value to 11.2 billion dollars. There, there was a great buy, 38 billion dollars, now worth 11.2 billion dollars. Okay, how about uh, these planet eaters, these giant planet eaters, Diamondback Energy Incorporation and Parsley Energy Incorporated, two of the largest shale independents, said, both said they slashed their drilling and well completions to maintain cash flow above ongoing expenses. Parsley said it would cut its drilling rigs down to 12 from 15 as soon as possible. These cuts reflect a wave of reductions underway elsewhere, <clears throat> said energy analyst. So what are the big players looking like today? <clears throat> Larger oil companies with refining and chemical businesses were somewhat protected Exxon Mobil shares fell 12% and Chevron down 15%. Uh, <clears throat> Diamondback said it released, it released, meaning gave at least temporary pink slips to one third of its crews completing new wells, planned to cut <clears throat> three of its drilling rigs and would reduce its 2020 spending budget by an undisclosed amount. <coughs> the lower activity will remain, will remain, uh, quote, until we see clear signs of commodity price recovery, close quote, said Diamondback Chief Executive Travis Stice, quote, we will remain, we will maintain positive cash flow and protect our balance sheet and dividend, he said. Oh yeah, I'm uh, talk about the fox guarding the hen house. I'm sure I would believe that if I were a shale oil investor. Uh-huh. We will protect our balance sheet and dividend. Yes, and they also have a uh, oceanfront property in Arizona or oceanfront property in uh, West Texas to sell you along with protecting your dividends. <clears throat> All right, the U.S. government recently forecast, the U.S. government recently forecast domestic production, meaning shale, meaning frackers, would rise 1 million barrels per day to more than 13 million. But in light of reduced demand and OPEC's higher output, oil production growth, quote, will be roughly zero, close quote, compared with 2019, estimated Paul McRae, Managing Director for Tower Bridge Advisors. <coughs> Reduced global demand means the call on U.S. shale will fall 2 million to 3 million barrels per day, said Paul Sankey, a research and investment firm, Mizuho Americas, 
that would imply an additional an additional 20 percent reduction in oil companies spending this year he wrote so uh, what are the ripple some of the ripple uh, effects from the new oil war <clears throat> The weekend decision to pump, you know, by OPEC, to pump full bore is, quote, analogous to what OPEC did around 2014, close quote, said Brock Hudson, managing director of investment bankers, Karl Marx advisors. That effort designed to keep OPEC's market share against rising U.S. shale output ultimately failed and OPEC later set production curbs, but this time shale is lacking support from investors who four years ago bought their debt, financed reorganizations, and kept shale producing. This time, U.S. shale producers are, quote, going to be suspending completions and things like that, close quote, to keep producing, said Hudson. Companies likely will halt well completions at a pace that could lead U.S. production to decline by one million barrels per day by the end of this summer, said Richard Spears, vice president of oil field consultant Spear and Associates. The ripple effect will hurt already hard hit oil field services firms, you know, meaning the guys who who actually do bringing it's mainly the drilling equipment and all of the trucks and infrastructure the ripple effect will hurt already hard hit oil field services firms scandal uh, incorporated expects to cut 22 workers assigned to just one rig after a customer on friday decided to pull back on new drilling, said Senior Vice President Paul Moswald, quote, private equity-backed oil companies are going to pull back fairly dramatically on the rig count, which is the canary in the coal mine, close quote. So we have the canary in the coal mine sinking in uh, West Texas and New Mexico. Doesn't that just bring tears to your eyes as uh, finally some good news? But as I say, uh, oil prices are already recovering today. Uh, we will see how much. But uh, future does not look good for the frackers in the Lone Star State. But uh, anyway, if you enjoyed what Reuters News had to say about uh, fracking, please spend a few seconds to thumb up this video. If you did not appreciate what they had to say, spend a few seconds to thumb it down. And by all means, when you're over here, guys, uh, do subscribe to Collapse Chronicles, and we'll probably be back to the doom and gloom uh, tomorrow. But right now, I need to get out there to my organic garden while I still can. You know, I have this place up for sale, so this will be the last chance I have uh, to play, to dig in the dirt in this organic garden and uh, I highly advise you to get out there and dig in your organic garden while you still can. Bye guys.